Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make this butter and brown sugar roasted acorn squash. Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. I am really excited about this recipe. It's perfect for fall, which is the season coming. And so let's get started. I've got two normal sized acorn squash here. So acorn or most like big thick skin squash like this are really hard to cut. And I, the first time I made acorn squash years ago, I sliced my hand right open. So what I recommend is to pierce these with a sharp knife carefully and then microwave them for five minutes so they're soft and it, then they don't take as long to roast in the oven. So I'm gonna very carefully pierce these with a knife. Just once, you know, is fine. Just right into one of these, um, what do you call it, folds or whatever. So then we're gonna put these on a plate, microwave safe plate, just so it doesn't get your, your microwave all messy. And we're gonna put them in the microwave for five minutes. Okay, our squash are out of the microwave and they're hot. So I'm going to pick them up with this kitchen towel. And then it'll also help me stabilize it as I go to cut it in half. Because it's still going to be, you know, it's going to be a little easier, but it's still going to be hard. You're still going to want a sharp knife. So as you saw, I just cut right around. And what's going to be the hardest part is that stem. So I just like to pop it and then it just kind of, the stem goes to one side. So that was a lot easier than if I had not microwaved it. So we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. We're just gonna, I'm gonna go around the edge, around the bottom, and then I put the top down, get my knife in there, and then I just twist with my knife, and then it just falls right open. So now we've got to scrape the seeds out. You don't want these seeds, of course. So we're just going to go around the edge. It's still a little hot. And then I'm gonna just scrape them right into this bowl that I use to microwave them. And just make sure you get all the seeds out. and I'm gonna put it on a sheet tray. Okay, we've got our squash all prepared. So for the seasoning, you could do just salt and pepper and butter or some oil, um, but I'm gonna do some a quarter of a cup of melted butter and a quarter of a cup of brown sugar swerve just for, you know, it's just really good. I'm mean, using salted butter if I was using unsalted butter, then I would add a little bit of salt. But I just think that this is just a classic combo. So I'm gonna melt the, the brown sugar into the butter. Okay. And then we're gonna brush the insides of the squash with the butter and the brown sweetener mixture. I'm gonna get all around the outside flesh this is going to be so amazing. Okay, these are ready, ready for the oven. We're gonna bake them in a 400 degree oven for about an hour. You, I mean, you really can't overcook squash, especially acorn squash or like butternut squash. You can definitely undercook it. So you want them to be really soft. If they have to take over an hour, let them go for an hour, hour and 15 minutes. So, but we're gonna check them after about an hour. We wanna make sure they get really nice and soft. Okay, our acorn squash are out of the oven and oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat one of these for lunch. Just look at this. I mean, look at that. That looks so dang good. So let me try a bite. Mmm, mmm. Yes, salty, sweet, creamy, mm. so good. Now these are a little bit higher in carbs, 
Um, a half of one of these, it's probably gonna be about 10 net carbs. You know, you just kinda, you just work it into your day because it's really, really good. Um, anyway, check out this uh, recipe, which, you know, you really don't even need to look at the recipe. It's so easy. You just follow along the video. This recipe would be really good with a piece of pork, like pink pork tenderloin. So be sure you check out, go to jenniferbands.com, find my air fryer pork tenderloin recipe. It's so good. You can just go there and search for air fryer pork tenderloin. Or you can go to, or you can just, if you're on YouTube, you can click this little box right here and it'll take you right to the video for my air fryer pork tenderloin. And it will go perfectly with this, so delicious. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time, bye.